Now, let me also show you a more complex demo that I built. Um, this example is of a contact center agent that, um, that it's a banking contact center agent. So I will run this UiPath Banker app. And um, the, the scenario is such that when somebody calls in, the banker or the, the client or the customer service rep needs to accept the call, understand the issue that they're calling about, and have a bunch of information available at their fingertips. Now, when I load this app, my, a bunch of automations run. And you see, by the time I accept the call, I already have my um, recommended actions populated from automation. I have my products and services populated. All of the customer information, case history, as well as offers and next best action. Um, history and other things too. Now, there are, you know, there's a simple scenario, which is a customer is calling because they are, they saw a, uh, say they saw their bank statement and they saw a charge that they don't recall making. And so they call in and say, look, I don't understand this charge. Can you help me? Most banks will have five or six different transaction systems where data is stored. So when an agent calls, uh, when an agent needs to go help this customer, they will spend between three to six minutes looking for that transaction. With apps, you can just click on the account that they're calling about, click on that recommended action of inquiry. And now, again, I'll open my assistant here. You can see that the transactions automation runs. It gets the data. It merges it from these various systems and then sorts it in, you know, in order of date and populates it right there in that table for me. I can change the timeline. I can increase the, the number of days so I can see more of a history. And not only that, I can also click on various transactions to see receipts or checks or other things that might be associated with that particular transaction that would typically live in, a, in an entirely different system. Now I can single or multi-select um, um, options from here and reverse transactions, putting it into a, another system that will then handle the reversal. This took seconds to do. This is something that would have taken agents minutes to solve. It frees up their time to now communicate with the customer or the client, and it frees up their time to do more cross-sell and upsell. So for example, they can offer the customer a new rewards visa um, card. And if the customer agrees, all the agent has to do is click on that button. All of their uh, information is already filled in. So they can ask additional questions to populate the rest of the data and then submit it. Again, simplifying this process tremendously. And the company, the organization can enforce compliance by showing disclaimers that the agents have to acknowledge they have to make sure they read it to their client, acknowledge it, and then mark it as done. Now, um, you know, there are many other things you can do this, with this application. The two other additional things I want to highlight, in addition to the compliance and ease of use, um, are such. First, you can also keep track and audit everything that the uh, agent is doing on this application. So every time they click something, you can log it in data service or some other system. That way, it takes care of a lot of that after call work and summary, you can automatically generate that for them. The second thing is this automation to do an inquiry or the even the mortgage uh, deferral automation can be used from any system. So you can use it from your agent console. I could incorporate that mortgage deferral summary um, app in here, um, but I can also deploy it to my um, IVR system or chatbot so that it can automatically use that same automation in the back end and provide the same results to the customer, eliminating the number of calls that actually come in to the, um, to the contact center as well. So it, it just helps make everything more consistent. <laughs>